Today, we're gonna be talking about why right now is the best time to start playing Infinity Kingdom. What's going on guys, cheers. First off, huge shout out to everybody who's been asking me about Infinity Kingdom, where's the Infinity Kingdom content. People have been asking me if I'm still playing Infinity Kingdom, if I still like the game. Uh, yeah, I've logged in every day for the past month. I play this game every single day, especially when I'm at work, doing my dailies, collecting my immortals, building on my army. So yes, even if I'm not making videos about this game in my free time, I am enjoying Infinity Kingdom. And I gotta say, of all the city builder games that I have tried, this is the only game that I've continued to play a alongside a rise of kingdoms which is saying a lot okay because i've tried to keep up with a lot of different games obviously you guys have seen them on this channel here and while i may jump back to some of those other games periodically infinity kingdom has my attention if you notice i'm a a bit more red than usual it's because i went swimming on a lake today and apparently i decided that sunscreen is below me oh uh, yeah yeah it's it's not looking good boys it's not looking good i'm sweating anyway i wanted to make this video to talk to you guys a little bit more about infinity kingdom why I think this game is so good and why I don't want you to miss out because I seriously think that starting right now is the best moment in time to play a game like this okay so I'm gonna give you guys five reasons why I think right now is the best time for you to try Infinity Kingdom and stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about two new amazing events that they just brought with patch 1.4 and they give you some crazy good rewards so you guys definitely don't want to miss that now these are in no particular order but number five is that Infinity Kingdom is in its prime and it is incredibly young everybody knows that city builder games typically have a couple of years of growth and then a couple of years of decline right starting now you will be starting essentially at the very beginning of this game's life cycle and guys i gotta tell you the developers are so invested in this game they reach out to the community all the time they're constantly improving the game and i know that they are in this game for the long haul at least from what i can see so i think it's a safe investment of your time and knowing that you've still got many many years to enjoy the fruits of your labor with building up your city now and because the game is actually good i know that this game is going to continue to grow over time so starting now is going to give you a huge advantage over the massive amounts of players that are going to be joining the game and flooding the new servers within the next year by the time the holiday the christmas season comes around and everybody gets brand new phones and they're off from school and they're off from work and they're looking for a game to play they download infinity kingdom and you're six months ahead of them already dominating the server so don't miss out it's rare that you can join a game of this scale so early reason number four is that the server versus server game mode has already been confirmed but it's not in the game yet which is the perfect time to join start to gain power and start to figure that out server versus server game modes in games like infinity kingdom are always some of the biggest most exciting and thrilling events that these games have to offer and we know infinity kingdom is going to get an event like this so if you start to power up now by the time this event comes out you'll already understand the game you'll understand the basics you'll have built up your power a bit and you can start to figure out what's a good group that you want to start playing server versus server with instead of joining the game later down the line and you're kind of just thrown into the fire reason number three is because while this game is still very young they've already ironed out a ton of bugs and optimized a ton of different events seriously guys the developers are like firing on all cylinders they're releasing a major patch every four to five weeks we saw patch 1.4 came out june 23rd 1.3 came out on may 19th 1.2 came out around easter on april 6th and every single patch note you can go through you'll see that they're adding events they're optimizing events they're optimizing skills they're optimizing immortals they're doing all sorts of stuff in in order to just add as much content as possible into infinity kingdom look i didn't even plan this i just opened up the infinity kingdom facebook page and 12 hours ago they announced another huge event infinity kingdom's six month anniversary will fall on july 28th they're doing a biannual celebration event from the 26th to the 31st it looks like we have a daily sign-in event attacking gnomes collecting fruits of hope puzzle missions redeem events you're going to be able to get tons of value out of this event and if this is just like some of their other holiday events you're going to be able to get some of the most powerful epic immortals for free seriously they do this all the time this event just ended where you could get free leonidas fragments and i got probably 15 of them or more so yeah having these big holiday events these exciting events coming every single month it's it's awesome it's, it really feels like 
the game is healthy and alive and new things just keep coming and that brings me to point number two let's not beat around the bush okay many of you probably play rise of kingdoms and i've noticed that a lot of players play rise of kingdoms of course for the war aspect but they also like to progress their account they like to build up their city and most importantly they like to collect commanders right you collect the legendary commanders you get them to max level and you build out your armies and it's just it's fun right it's just like it's just like how people collect pokemon cards for example well in infinity kingdom it is literally so easy to collect some of these immortals right now it's going to take time i'm not going to sit here and lie to you okay you're not going to max out these immortals in a week especially some of the strongest ones like Yoshitsune or Ramses or Attila. I've been working on Khan lately. Anytime I see him come up in the market, I get so excited. The reason it's so much easier in this game is because you can actually exchange your lower rarity immortals for soul gems, which you can then use to purchase uh, fragments of more rare immortals here in the market like it just it happens of course I ran out of market orders here in the video so I can't show you but you can see I just converted a blue immortal into soul gems which I can now use to buy a purple immortal which if you didn't know are more powerful and if I don't want them I can tap here and I can just get rid of them and get my soul gems back you can't really mess up here in this game that's the best part seriously even if you spend tens of thousands of soul gems to put into an immortal and then you you find out that you don't like them or they're not very good you can reborn them you can get back all the fragments and then you can put all the fragments here to dismantle them to get all of your crystals back like there's it's literally it's so flexible and and that's what i love you can collect the immortals that you want when you want and it's so satisfying seeing your troops and your armies just build up to be more and more powerful because you know eventually those immortals are going to show up here and you'll be able to get those gems in order to get them just by dismantling some of the ones that you're not going to use right now maybe i'm hoarding a bit too much here maybe i should narrow this down and be like okay i'm never going to use gilgamesh or i'm never going to use alexander let's get rid of them get those gems so i can use them on other on other immortals but you get the point it's been so exciting maxing out yoshitsune i'm so close to doing the same with ramses and attila and just having things to collect and work towards to me is relaxing it's fun and i just like to see the progress plus they're constantly adding new immortals into the game himiko just came into the game with patch 1.4 she's a new shadow type immortal who looks super super cool not gonna lie so even though the game is only six months old there's already so many immortals that you can look forward to obtaining and reason number one why right now is the best time to start playing infinity kingdom is because they just added two new events infernal assault and battle of hysteria and they give you some crazy good rewards first let's talk about the infernal assault event okay this event can be done either solo or with a group and when you summon crusader camps they appear right next to your city these camps have multiple workshops around them so you have to first attack the outer workshops and then you can attack the center of the crusader camp and defeating the workshops and the camps will give you a really solid chunk of gold and if you guys didn't know gold is pretty hard to come by here in infinity kingdom so a new event that gives you a new way to get more gold is always good now just like with any event the event gets harder over time so with every crusader camp you beat you then unlock the next level and each level has a first time clear reward which gives you some extra goodies now remember you can participate in this event solo but it is at the end of the day an alliance based event your alliance will be ranked against other alliances for how many points they got during the duration of the infernal assault and the top three alliances especially the top one alliance will get some of the best rewards for the entire group so even if you're doing this event solo you're getting points for your alliance now the good news is that if you get to a point where the camps become too difficult you can simply summon a lower level camp so you're not locked in to whatever the high level is once you get to those higher levels you're definitely going to want to attack these as a group because even if you attack it solo and you have that ability to do so you're going to get a ton of severely wounded a ton of dead by inviting your allies they're going to be able to boost you with really nice stat buffs and it's just going to make it a lot easier and you're just going to have to pay less for that hospital now the battle of hysteria is also a individual event with 
an alliance component. Going into the Battle of Hysteria, you can pick your difficulty, and of course, the higher the difficulty that you go, the better the rewards are going to be at the end. There are six difficulties to pick from, and once you lock in that difficulty, you will have to fight 30 levels of gnome camps. But these aren't just regular gnomes, okay? These are shadow gnomes. They're summoned next to your city. They cost AP just to summon them, so make sure that you have enough AP to also attack and defeat them afterwards. Of course, defeating all 30 of these shadow gnomes will give you the best results at the very end of the event. And for those of you who are looking for artifact fragments, especially the purple and the gold, this is your event. This is the number one way for you to obtain the artifact fragments that you need. Seriously, if you can finish this event on a difficulty rating of five or six, you're going to get a pick one chest for which fragments that you want. And if you're having trouble defeating one of the higher level shadow gnomes, don't worry, you can actually attack it with more than one of your army at the same time. Now it does obviously cost a little bit more AP to do that, but if it gets you those artifact fragments at the very end, then it's worth it. On the second day of the event is when the Alliance portion of this event becomes available to you. Only the Alliance leader or the officers can initiate this event for the entire Alliance. But if enough Alliance members have completed all the way up to level 30 in the solo portion of this event, the officers or leader can summon a super powerful boss monster that you're going to have to take down as a team. Now, if you take part in killing that boss, you're going to get yourself a reward and at the very end of the event your alliance will get rewards based on the highest boss you were able to clear together so like i said guys two brand new events very exciting for infinity kingdom and this is not the end of new events for this game right now is the best time for you to play this game if you've been on the fence you're not sure should i play infinity kingdom should i not just give it a try give it a try it's the best time to play with that being said there's a link in the description you can download infinity kingdom for free with my link if you want to play with me i am in norheim 21 usually i would recommend players start in a brand new server and then migrate over here to Norheim 21 if you want to play with me but if you want to start in 21 you are more than welcome to do so now if you've made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Infinity Kingdom players might see it it also tells me that you want to see more Infinity Kingdom videos so if you like Infinity Kingdom smash that like button if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload an Infinity Kingdom video just as a hint there's definitely more Infinity Kingdom videos coming comment down below if you've tried infinity kingdom what you think of it what you think that the developers can improve what do you think that they've done really really well again i've been logging in every single day i'm genuinely enjoying this game finally all the links to my social media accounts are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace